This is CPM Calculus Chapter 4, number 141. So here we're looking at a graph, and this is the annual cycle of daily high temperatures in this city called Cabanaville, or Cabanaville, okay, that sounds better, Cabanaville, and it's shown in the graph, and here it's starting from January 1st to December 31st. So here the tick is January 1st, so I'm guessing it's... It, Every segment is 30 days. So we could say it's approximately, this is January 1st, February, right? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, right? Jan December 1st, December 31st, right? So that's January again. So approximately every tick is a new month, okay? The x-axis is our days. And the y-axis is the temperature. All right, so let's go on. Part, say, part A says, approximately when is Cabanaville at its hottest? All right. <clears throat> well, we know the temperature is the hottest at this peak, right? And I'm going to go ahead and draw a line down to see when it's the hottest. So I would say um, it's hottest around August. Yes, if this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, it's hottest around right here in early August. So hottest early August. How about coldest? Coldest, I would say over here, right? And this is, I would say, early February, early let me erase that line. Early February. So how can we tell? Well, the hottest is the maximum, right? So this is answering how. And the coldest is the minimum, right? We're just looking at the minimum and maximum values, and that's how we're getting um, the hottest and coldest. So let's move on to part B. Part B says, when is the temperature changing the fastest? All right, so we know that here we look at the slope, right? And where is the slope the greatest? Well, I would say it's around here, right? Um, and then also, I don't know, around right here. And what does this correspond to? So this is around January, March, April, May. So fastest May. And I would say that's increasing temperature, right? And also, I would say decreasing around, I don't know, the beginning of December, the end of November. Also, um, November, December time, decreasing, right? And what are these points called? Well, it's not the slope is not where it's increasing and decreasing. That's just the slope everywhere. Like here's the slope, right? So it's not the slope. This, the points where the change is happening the fastest, we know that as um, where the concavity changes from concave up to concave down, and likewise from concave, concave down to concave up. So these points are the inflection points, right? Inflection points are where the temperature is changing the fastest or the slope is the steepest. All right. So that's going to end for us. CPM Calculus Chapter 4, number 141.